Hello everyone. This is my next lecture on dynamics. In the previous lecture, I have discussed horizontal elastic string. In this lecture, I will discuss vertical elastic string. So the statement of the theorem is a light elastic string of natural length small a and modulus of elasticity lambda is suspended by one end to the other end is tied a particle of weight mg the particle is slightly pulled down and released to discuss the motion so start with here and parallelly uh, consider the figure also so let OA equal to small a be the natural length of the string whose end O is fixed and a particle of mass M is hanged on the other end A this is OA the natural length is a small a and the particle of weight mg is hanged at the end a suppose the string is extended up to capital c at which t1 be the tension of the string which will balance the weight mg so t1 is equal to mg but by hooke's law the tension is equal to uh, extension divided by natural length so by hooke's law we will get t1 is equal to lambda times ac divided by small a but from here t1 is equal to mg so combining this we will get mg is equal to lambda ac by a or from here we will get the value of ac which is equal to amg by lambda take it as equation 1 now the particle is pulled down to b from the statement of the theorem we have to pull down the particle to a point so let the particle be pulled down to b and release then suppose p be the position of the particle at any time t of its motion such that ap equal to x let's see the figure so the particle is pulled down to b and released let the uh, after time t p be the position of the particle such that distance of a and p is small x So now let capital T be the tension of the string at P then by Hooke's law T is equal to lambda into x by A. Give it as equation 2. Since the motion of the particle is towards A therefore the equation of the motion is m d 2 x by d t square equal to minus T minus m g. T is the mm, Direction of T is upwards and the direction of weight mg is downwards. So we will get T minus mg and force m d2x by dt square is equal to minus or because the direction is reversed. So from here we will get m d2x by dt square equal to minus T plus mg. Substituting the value of T we will get m d2x by dt square is equal to minus lambda x by a plus mg taking minus lambda by a common we will get m d2x by dt square equal to minus lambda by a in bracket x minus mg a by lambda and from equation 1 the value of mg a by lambda is ac so we will get d2x by dt square is equal to minus lambda by ma x minus ac or d2x by dt square equal to minus mu 
x minus a c replacing lambda by m a by mu we will get minus mu x minus a c so here mu is equal to lambda by m a now if you put if we put x minus a c equal to z then dx by dt is equal to dz by dt and d2x by dt square equal to d2z by dt square so from equation 3 we will get d2z by dt square equal to minus mu z which shows that the motion of the particle is a shm simple harmonic motion and the time period is 2 pi by root mu substituting the value of mu as lambda by ma we will get 2 pi under root 2 pi under root ma by lambda this is the theorem for vertical elastic string in the next lecture i will discuss heavy elastic string thank you